this is me no makeup today <laughs> i didn't have time to do the makeup and also we called ambulance last night oh my god we had to do last night evelyn was choking and i decided to call ambulance oh wow in this camera i don't look so bad <laughs> I was passing by and decided to stop at this place. I ordered a pizza and a drink. We had a rough night last night. I called ambulance for Avalon. was very good I'm full right now but I didn't eat a lot I took the rest of the pizza I ate only one third and I took the rest of the pizza back home I have such an impression that I've never been here Uh, on uh, subway blue line I just I saw that it is next to me right now so I decided okay why not to take it I have one hour so I decided to go to Uniqlo just I want to buy some basic t-shirts but I like their quality here is a blue line let's go CTA blue line This is a good shop for kids clothes, pretty cheap, like relatively. <laughs> I know places where you can get cheaper, Primark. I'm already in downtown Chicago. Now we're gonna go to Uniqlo and after that most probably we're gonna go to Nordstrom Rack. I want to buy some clothes for Evelyn, but I have only 40 minutes and I need to leave 20 minutes to reach my train station. I don't wanna take this L line to get home. I bought stuff for $200, some t-shirts for me and some for Evelyn. So cool. She loves bees and froggies. I haven't been on the bus for a really long time and I forgot how to pay and I don't have cash so I remember that I can top up my card with uh, some application Ventra so we'll try now if not, I don't know what I'm gonna do <laughs> that's so funny but I'm running out of time I have 15 minutes left and the bus will take me to train station uh, just in 5 minutes but to run there, it will take me 20 minutes. Boom! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 
la 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 Иди ко мне. Иди ко мне. Иди ко мне. Бег с препятствием. Come to me. Come to me. Иди ко мне. Иди ко мне. Папочка, лови девочку. Смотри. Максим, Максим, Максим. Максим. Зато она не устала. Да? Ты не устала? Все? Ты моя жабка. жабка? First time I'm buying something from AliExpress, I decided, okay, let's see what I'm gonna get. This is not what I was expecting. Stepping stones, <laughs> aka. Um, I was expecting that they would be something like this size or even bigger, <laughs> but it was my mistake that I didn't check the size. Anyway, stepping stones, this is for me, <laughs> also <laughs> to learn how to keep the balance on the sun, I don't know, mm, I said on the picture, on the... okay, I need to switch off the camera. I'm very happy that it is a fish, <laughs> because uh, there was written that you're gonna get random thing, <laughs> so it's pretty big. Evelyn gonna like it. Also, I got some stuff here. It's a little bit... Oh, it's a toy. Okay, she will play with it. I know that for sure. Anyway, I also got here some stuff for gloss motor. We'll see how it's gonna work. Got everything out from the <laughs> package. Oh, it's so cool. I wanted to buy it for Evelyn, but here it costs uh, ten dollars but this one i bought for three dollars i'm sure she will <laughs> love it <laughs> forks or fruits and here's another thing for gross mother they're supposed to work together we'll see look what she has done yesterday she took those worms from <laughs> This Montessori coop, and she put it here. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Funny? Right? We just woke up. It is 7.40 right now. Now we are in a tree. Evelyn took me here. We saw that. And we added a little bit of a little Давай синий сделаем. Давай синий сделаем. Давай синий сделаем. Давай синий сделаем. Давай even to me, I'm just like, oh, wow. Да, вот так. А ручкой хочешь попробовать? Пальчиком. I think so, but it's pretty wet, but she loves to do stuff like this. <laughs> And then when it dries, you can just brush off the baking soda and then Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Где чучу? Нет чучу. Ты хочешь пойти с Тео поиграть? Ты хочешь поиграть? Мячик. Что ты там нашла? Это плохо. Эй, Тио, ты не смотри на нас. Она просто смотрит. Вы знаете, мы пошли в Монди класс в библиотеке. Today I was telling her lots of no, 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 so we left the class and she was like so upset. <laughs> so I was like, what? What can I do? And uh, she was like... Are you making drinks? Is she making a drink for you, Mickey? Why don't you order something? Say, can I have a taco, please? <laughs> It's like paparazzi get out yeah. from here. Мальчики и девочки? Да? Эви, кто там? Кто там, бусинка? Китенечка, мы не уходим. Мы еще тут стоим. Ты хочешь, чтобы Таня тебя почитала? Или ты Таня хочет почитать? Мультики, как обычно. Вот так вот ребенок. Такое красивое место. И мы тут кукуем. Тонкой пройдем, не упадем, не упадем, не упадем. Давай, вставай. Оп. 
Е, 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 е. Кто это тут одеяло забрал? Кто это одеяло забрал? Кто одеяло забрал? А ты одеял? Бум! Подожди, не спеши, не спеши. Не спеши. Тут надо дорогу перейти сначала. I want to show you what has just arrived from Amazon. <laughs> Lots of BB's content. This brand, Birds Bee, cotton, organic cotton bed sheet. Oh, so oh, pleasant to touch. I ordered two. I wanted to show you the color of this one. So I, I zoomed in. Now I'm gonna zoom out. When I zoom out, uh, the color is almost white, but it's not white, it's pink. Let's open this one, let's see what's inside here. Oh yeah, this one has two inside. The color is lavender and something like pink. A little bit darker than this one. Let's feel it. Nah, it's polyester, so... It is flying back to Amazon. Wow, look at this beauty. I even put on camera light so you would see the colors. So cool. So basically it's a bearable blanket <laughs> for toddlers. I love it so much. They are not cheap. They are approximately 40 or 50 dollars each. I got four of them. I'm gonna show you the other ones. This is number two. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's gonna be for the summer. I'm gonna show you what uh, I bought for winter. This one is for winter. We are planning to sleep in a cold temperature. So this one is like... I would say like winter jacket <laughs> basically a very thick blanket but I realized that it's more healthy if you sleep healthier if you sleep in cold room so the zipper goes only up to here oh actually no you can open it uh, from two sides and you can change your diaper the last one is like this. <laughs> yeah, but the zipper finishes over here. Still not bad option. This one was a little bit cheaper. This one was something like 35 or 40 dollars. The previous one was uh, 50 dollars with taxes. And this variable blanket was pretty cheap. Something like 28 dollars plus taxes, 31. So let's open it. I'm sure many of you saw it. <laughs> it's very <really> famous, <laughs> synthetic, but uh, I got it uh, because Evelyn loves owls. <laughs> I got her different training pants. <laughs> I haven't seen it in my childhood. <laughs> uh, so here we have cotton, but over here three layers of cotton. <laughs> I was really surprised when I saw it different colors so I'll start with this for we'll see if I'm gonna be successful but grandma is coming <laughs> so we also have big hopes for grandma very popular brand stride right but it's a first time for me buying stride right we still didn't try it just because she was sick they look so cool and cute but I think the size uh, is not the right size because I got European 6, US 5, but I think they will be small. We'll see. We'll try it tomorrow. I just put it on top. As long as it costs so much, <laughs> I keep it on top. <laughs> you 
decided to record the video about uh, Evelyn's health. We called ambulance, we went to urgent care, we saw her doctor, and only after that we discovered what's happened to her. So I called ambulance at one o'clock, but at 11 p.m. she was like, <gasps> So I went to Max's room, I woke him up and I told him, I was like, you know, she uh, inhales in pretty strange way, like she has never done before. And uh, we were listening uh, to that sound, but uh, she finished a few minutes later. At 12.20, I sent a message to my friend who was supposed to stay with Evelyn the next day. I was like, come at this time, blah, 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 blah. And uh, I was about to fall asleep. And at 12.30, midnight, I have heard the same sound. I got scared. I ran to Max's room. I woke him up and uh, we started to listen together that sound. And uh, we started to watch her, how she is breathing in. Then uh, I said to Max, so what should we do? Should we go to emergency or should we call ambulance? And he said, we need to call ambulance because breathing, it's not a uh, uh, cold flu or anything. So I got really scared. So I was on the line with 911 and uh, they were guiding me what to do with her. And Max ran downstairs, so uh, he was waiting for ambulance and uh, they came and she was fine. And she was hugging me and she was, uh, she was completely okay. And they said, she's fine, but do you want us uh, to take you guys to emergency? We, we said, we don't know, you tell us, should we go to emergency or not? So they said, we advise you not to go to because uh, she can catch more stuff there. <laughs> so we stayed at home and they told us to give her Tylenol or ibuprofen. And uh, we started to give those meds uh, to her so it would uh, reduce her fever. Her temperature was 38.9, uh, almost 39. That's why I freaked out, because it's really, really high. I believe it's something like 103 or 102 in Fahrenheit. And uh, they told us, just go and see the doctor next day, and that's it. Next day she was fine, and uh, Tanya came, and uh, she was uh, acting like a normal kid. I went to see my doctor, and uh, then I came home at 3 p.m., and I felt that she has fever. I was like, oh my god, she has fever. And uh, we tried to see her doctor, but they said, no, we cannot see you today because uh, our schedule is completely fully packed already. And it was uh, one hour left uh, of her doctor working hours. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I just was like, so what should we do? and they told us go to urgent care. We went to urgent care in Northbrook because all other urgent cares next to us, they were closed. One of them worked uh, until 11 a.m., from 9 until 11 a.m. It was pretty strange. Anyway, there were a few more next to us, uh, but uh, they were still closed, uh, so we were like, okay, let's go to Norrisbrook. We drove to Norrisbrook. Uh, then um, they did some tests. They, check, uh, they checked her for viruses. Three viruses. I don't remember which one they mentioned to us, but I was so stressed that I forgot. Then uh, they checked her temperature, um, ears, nose, lungs. And what else? Uh, basically, they checked everything and they said she's fine. Just keep um, keep on giving her Tylenol or Motrin. And that's it. And they said, like, if you need anything from us, just come back here. And uh, next day, I scheduled uh, an appointment with uh, Evelyn's doctor. And he said, oh, it's just cold. Cold? 
<laughs> she doesn't have runny nose, she was not coughing. And uh, then I saw that she's eating her pacifier non-stop. It's just uh, I'm removing pacifier from her mouth. She was like... <gasps> So there were also some hysteria happening and uh, then um, I gave her camellia which uh, calmed her down and uh, uh, she, uh, she fell asleep and she slept during uh, the whole night. Uh, after the doctor, uh, when we realized that uh, only her teeth are causing all those uh, stuff, so I started to give her only um, ibuprofen, some coughing syrup, because uh, I have uh, coughing syrup uh, which contains only honey and zinc, then uh, elderberry and uh, more fruits, vegetables, and uh, we were giving her pedialyte. We were trying to give her water, but she refused, but thank God uh, her stool and pee, everything was good. So, today we also had sleepless night. I don't know what's happened today. Today is, uh, what, Tuesday. She started uh, this whole sickness uh, on um, Wednesday night at 11 p.m. Today is Tuesday and uh, today was something strange. Today she was uh, crying, mama, mama. And I was like, oh, what is happening? She has never ever done it before. So I was trying to calm her down and she stretched her arms. She wanted me to lift her up from her crib. So I took her from the crib and I was trying to make her calm. But again, she started to cry. And uh, after approximately 40 or 50 minutes, I calculated it. <laughs> I gave her Pedialyte and uh, I put some Camellia drops so she could sleep so she would not be nervous and uh, still if uh, it's somehow related to her teeth and uh, there we have some nerves and uh, Camellia it's basically drops uh, out of chamomile so it would calm her down. I am trying not to give her any chemicals. Ibuprofen was an exception because it was recommended by the doctors. Me, I'm trying to give her everything natural. I don't know, it's just like uh, this is the way how I was uh, taught in, uh, by my grandma. So I decided, okay, I'll be applying the same rule to my baby girl. What else? Um, today, <laughs> She slept with me on my bed. I couldn't sleep at all. I have incredible headache right now because I didn't sleep enough. And now she's sleeping. And uh, uh, for me, it was a uh, pretty strange feeling that a uh, small baby is next to me. <laughs> well, a toddler <laughs> next to me, but I was afraid to hurt her. So... I was waiting until she falls asleep. She fell asleep approximately at 5.30 a.m. and only after that I could move away from her and uh, I could relax a little bit but still I was so afraid that she's sleeping on my bed. She doesn't have any protection. My bed is huge. I opened the window a little bit, the curtain, so some light would get in so she would be able to see uh, everything where she's stepping the way where she's moving it was crazy today anyway she woke up in the morning she was a little bit grumpy we had play date Thea and Margaret came and uh, they played really well and uh, I put her to sleep at 1 30 or almost 2 o'clock because I was trying to feed her and she was refusing so I gave her strawberries, raspberries, I gave her blueberries, uh, some sweets, uh, I gave her food from the pouches, uh, uh, I gave her <laughs> farmer's cheese. So uh, 
it took us one hour and a half to finish all of that. And when I realized that she's uh, no more hungry, I just uh, told her, I was like, let's go sleep. So she went to my room and uh, she fell asleep straight away. That's it. Uh, I was trying to be short, but it's been 10 minutes, me talking, <laughs> sorry. Milestone today when she was hungry in the morning and I didn't feed her intentionally because I wanted her to get uh, hungry properly <laughs> because usually it's just we wake up, I give her food straight away and I realized that uh, by the time she wakes up she is not hungry and she doesn't have that hormone ghrelin which uh, sends signal to her brain that I need food but I was giving her food. So today I uh, let her play, walk, uh, do whatever. After half an hour, approximately 20 minutes, she came to me and she brought me a pouch uh, food, uh, serenity kits. I buy serenity kits uh, food <laughs> and she's like, at Kroy. I was like, what did you say? Because in Russian it says, uh, it means, uh, mm, open it i was like what it's easy for her to say short words but uh, this one has uh, a few syllables and i'm like oh wow, oh wow oh wow and i was like what did you say and she got shy but i was so happy that uh, she's trying to say some words and uh, you know i'm putting so much effort to teach her more words and i keep on telling her tell me what is this repeat after me repeat after me here and there so i'm really happy that my hard work is paid off because uh, i do lots of stuff to educate her to teach her uh, different uh, useful skills and also I'm doing lots of uh, exercises games uh, I'm creating some games also I'm getting some ideas from my friend and uh, though all those uh, games are aimed to, to develop her speech skills and I was so happy that I have heard her speaking today in Russian and using long words, not only short words. Or she used to say the beginning of the word. For example, the word kushat, she was saying ku. The word pit, she was saying pi. So I'm so happy.